Hey, what is up guys? The only monster here with another replay. This replay was sent in by Existential, so thank you my guy for sending this replay in and letting me cast it. So, yeah, let's take a look at this draft, shall we? Um, hmm, I see a Quellen Blade onto the Winter Wyvern, so it might actually be a core position Wyvern. Uh, so, looks like it's gonna be offlane Kunkka, 4 Clock, 5 Rubik, safe lane Juggernaut, and then the Midwinter Wyvern. Very unconventional and a little bit greedy as well, putting the Rubik in the 5, but it definitely can work out. Um, definitely unconventional uh, Winter Wyvern mid. I haven't actually seen it in quite some time, so definitely looking forward to how well this Winter Wyvern is going to be getting on this game. Uh, let's see, for this side of the Dire, looks like this is going to be an offlane Spirit Breaker. More standard stuff, uh, Scythe Lane Drought Ranger probably, yeah, already heading over to the top. Mid tanker and the support too is going to be the Shadow Shaman and Earth Spirit. I've seen uh, quite a bit of um, Spirit Breaker in pro games, so yeah, I mean, right now this hero is absolutely disgusting. Uh, you know, having been able to have that global presence, and you know, at some point in the game, you start clearing creep waves with like, you know, you just charge at the creep wave and you literally clear the whole wave. Um, yeah, disgusting, and you know, people also build uh, Kaya on it, and maybe like uh, a Yasha. Huh? Juggernaut, gonna use the Blade Fury, get the Bounty Rune here, and now Earth Spirit is stepping up. Did secure the rune, but unfortunately, it might cost him his life. The battery assault with the Arctic Burn, the body blocks, and looks like it will be enough to secure the kill there. First Blood going the way of the Kunkka here, so a nice little start here for the side of the Radiant. Getting First Blood going their way. Tinker have a nice, having a nice little block here, getting the creep wave onto the side of the river, onto this high ground here. But yeah, definitely very curious to see uh, how the Spirit Break is going to be getting on this game. Seen quite a bit of success with it, with it in a pro game, so we'll see. Battery Assault, harassing out the Shadow Shaman, does need to be a little bit careful about stepping up, but once this battery assault is off cooldown, honestly, this Shadow Shaman could just turn around and start right clicking away, but. Guess doesn't want to. Wants to be a little bit more careful. Ooh, Spirit Breaker dropping pretty low down here. I should be keeping my eyes uh, on the health bars a little bit more, getting too focused on the actual heroes themselves. This. So far, Juggernaut doing well in the last hits. Already six last hits up to his name. Spirit Breaker does need to be careful. Doesn't have a whole lot of region. Does have a something coming. Does have a south coming. So should be okay once he does get that delivered out to him. Just make sure it doesn't go down before that. As a south, so probably just waiting now until he can actually pop it. Rubik. Now with the point into the fade bolt, just be a little bit careful not to get cancelled that out. Nice little efficiency play, putting the gauntlet of strength into the inventory. Oh well, not inventory, backpack. Let's see. So far, pretty quiet so far. I'm not really making any aggressive moves. Uh, Kunka probably gonna be getting another point into the Tidebringer. Uh, just to get that extra damage going, charge going onto the Juggernaut with the roll, also hitting on through. Does have the Blade Fury and it's gonna use it. Hitting onto two Telekinesis onto the Earth Spirit, dragging him back. Fortunately, a Telekinesis is only level one, so the drag back not quite there just yet. But at the very least, this Rubik was able to get a nice little pull off. Oh, another charge going onto the Rubik. Spirit Breaker. Can I go in for this? But decides against it. Now that the Juggernaut is there to provide the backup. But regardless, this uh, Rubik got a really nice pull off onto the side camp there. I didn't quite catch if oh, roll onto the Rubik, the toss, not quite hitting on back, and now the charge going onto the Rubik. Need that bash. There we go, there's the bash. Need another few more right clicks. Ooh, telekinesis, and then the Spirit Break starts running back. Blade Fury. Ah, looks like that's gonna be another kill. Yeah, just trying not able to secure that kill. Roll. Signing up the Juggernaut, but the Surf Spirit will be AOA okay. No boots on the Juggernaut just yet. A little bit unfortunate, Spirit Breaker wasn't quite able to, con uh, c uh, you know, get this Rubik kill and, you know, wow, 
uh, decide not to commit for it, run back, and then, you know, the juggernaut is just waiting there for him. Maybe taking a different pathing, like, uh, around here, rather than just going straight back. Maybe it could have looked a little bit different, but let's have a look at what happened over by the mid. To Wyvern, a little bit low, popping the Arctic Burn, starting to go into this Tinker, but this Tinker... Able to burst him down. Fortunately, Winter Wyvern didn't quite have the calculator out, you know what I mean? <laughs> Those calculations not quite going according to plan, and that's a nice little kill there, going the way of the Tinker. Nice little solo pickoff. Let's see. I'm actually surprised this Gunka has been getting like a decent bit out of the lane, considering it's two range heroes against two melees. Um, definitely, you know, expect uh, expect the lane to be dominated a lot more by the two range, but I guess this Clonk, Cork, and Kunkka are pretty chunky targets, not the easiest targets to go on to, so. Mm, let's see, Boots already in the Spirit Breaker, that's gonna be quite nice, especially against this uh, Juggernaut that has his Boots in his uh, backpack here. Oh, X with the torrent and then the tiebringer one more reckless should be able to secure the kill and gets the kill onto the draw ranger there that's a lovely kill going the way of the kunkka that was very nice for sure carrying that X torrent and the tiebringer so yeah very unfortunate this draw ranger ends up going down to the kunkka there like you know definitely a lane that I would expect uh, to be very much dominated by uh by the Drow and the Shadow Shaman, not quite going their way a little bit, unfortunately. Or by the mid, Rocket's flying out onto this Winter Wyvern. Winter not quite level 6 just yet, about halfway there. So Tinker, with that nice level advantage over the Winter Wyvern. Already working on his blanks with the Soul Ring ready. Sure not still doesn't have his boots in his <laughs> in his inventory, he still has it in his backpack. Oh Blade Fury trying to go for this air spirit, but a little bit too close to the tower. So definitely not a kill he can try to commit for. Oof, attempting to go for the pull, but didn't quite get it there. Juggernaut will just farm out the wave instead. Oh, X, Torrent, hitting on through and now the double. Cogs, man, holding the Drow Ranger into place. It's gonna end up going down. So is the Shadow Shaman. That's a double kill there for the Clockwork, man. That power, that two man power, Cogs. That was deadly. And now this Kunk is level 6. I I'm not so sure this Drow can actually return to lane without actually dying. Like, if the Clockwork's actually in the vicinity and this Kunk has enough mana for his combo, like, uh, I honestly don't think this Drow Ranger can return to lane. Uh, she will try to. So let's see how it ends up working out. Shadow Shaman is also coming back over. Clockwork not quite in the vicinity. You're getting ready to pull that wave back. Ah, oh, bomb, dude. Like, every time I keep looking, this Juggernaut is like right up the tower. Clockwork didn't manage to get the pull off. Did miss one creep, but at the very least, they get the pull off, and that's what really matters. Yeah, there we go. X, boat. Clockwork's right on top of this drow. Boom, boat hits, and that's a dead drow. Yeah, like there's there's not much this uh, Shadow Shaman can really do for the Dry Ranger. The Dry Ranger should just give up on this lane, go to the jungle, and you know let the Shadow Shaman uh, leech the lane as much as he can. To try to defend the tower the best he can. Dude, that's a lot of <laughs> oh, bruh. I actually want to rewind to see how many bounties that was. <laughs> that was three, and okay, it looked like a lot more just because he had the bottle. But that was three bounty runes. All right, cool. That was funny. Let's see. Doesn't have a TP. Yeah, still has a TP on cooldown for 34 seconds. So she's gonna have to walk either uh, to lane or to the jungle to wherever she decides to go. But yeah, definitely. Like she was having a decent, decent start, but then Kunka got the kill uh, onto her, the solo kill, and then things started snowballing out of control. Blade Fury starting to go into the Spirit Breaker telekinesis. Ooh, the drag bag. Very unfortunate there from the Rubik. Actually saving the Spirit Breaker's life. Um, 
maybe not quite, perhaps, but definitely would have the kill would have looked a lot closer if that telekinesis wasn't pulling him back outside of the blade fury range. Oh, clockwork thinking of making a rotation onto this tinker. It's not quite level six yet. It's just starting to run at him. Cogs, call him brace. Tinker doesn't have a whole lot of mana to work with. Splinter Blast. Winter's Curse. They really want this kill onto this tinker. No rotations are coming through from the side of the dire. No way, they're slowly gonna will him away like this. Pops the, <laughs> pops the solar ring, turns around, gets a kill onto the clockwork, and now the charge going onto this winter wiring. I use a call embrace, but that's only gonna buy more time for the spirit breaker to be able to arrive from base. Roll, a little bit off the mark there, quite unfortunate, but the spirit break is coming in hot. Get the charge on, and then the laser secures the kill. Killing spree for this tanker, so very disastrous gank there. Like, it was definitely the right idea um, from this clockwork to try to go for this kill uh, onto this um, tanker, but unfortunately, this winter wyvern, like, you know, that's three points into the cold embrace. Like, that's just more like a support type build. Um, like, you know, you definitely want to get more points into the Splinter Blast and your Arctic Burn because, you know, the Clockwork is relying on the, this win Winter Wyvern to be able to have damage, but this Winter Wyvern has three points into the Cold Embrace, so it's a little bit hard trying to commit for the Stinker when you don't really have the damage, and, you know, Clockwork wasn't quite level 6, like, it was definitely the right idea, but, you know, the execution wasn't quite there, a little bit unfortunate. Let's see... Spirit Breaker... Well, looks like he's actually going to be going for the Midas, interesting. Uh, I mean, he didn't have the hottest of starts, so I guess it makes sense. Uh, and plus, you know, Spirit Breaker, not really a hero that needs a whole lot of items to be fighting. You just kind of need the levels, and then once you get the levels, you're pretty much chilling, so. And, you know, you're not getting pressured that much, I guess, uh, right now. So I think you'll be able to get away with it. Uh, anyways, even if he gets this Midas, I do expect him to be trying to fight. Shadow Shaman getting chased out. Ooh, they get the X going. There we go with the boat and then the torrent. And the kill. Not much, uh, not much the Shadow Shaman can do there, really. Now this Clockwork starting to invade the enemy jungle. Scouting out this Drow Ranger. This Drow Ranger needs to start running back. Oof. Well, I was focusing on the Drow Ranger getting gone on. I miss a kill in the mid. <laughs> that voice line. Tinker with the fresh blink. Okay, chasing out this winter wyvern and then with the laser, just gonna rearm and then go right back in. Yeah. Boom. The winter wyvern. Oof. Yeah, this yeah, this winter wyvern's rough, man. This winter wyvern's having a rough game. Uh, um, oh, I put tour in gold instead of net worth. My bad. Yeah, this winter wire is having a really rough game. Uh, you know, it's like crown boots and uh, and a quarter staff. It's, it's pretty sad. Like uh, you know, just dies uh, so quickly to this tinker. Oh, roll, kickback, the magnetize as well. Going onto this Rubik, and they're gonna be able to secure the kill there. So a nice little kill there. The way of the earth spirit making some good moves it's like a clockwork so make a rotation down bottom but he is alone against two heroes so might need to be a little bit careful pops the battery assault cogs a little bit off the mark i'm not sure if he was trying to go for the pushback or actually trapping him inside does burn over does burn away a good portion of the spirit breaker's mana so Let's see clockwork but that level six now does have the hook shot available. Actually, level seven. Excuse me. Gyar Ranger needs to be a little bit careful. Yeah, there we go. Arctic Burn with the hook shot. They're gonna be able to secure the kill onto this Gyar Ranger. I say so. But yeah, okay. Had the flares ready, and yeah, that's a lovely kill going into the, you know, for this uh, for this clockwork and win uh, Winter Wyvern. Oh, over the top boat. One more right click. <laughs> the tower and the serpent wars enough to get the kill onto the skunka nice little return kill and that's a lovely solo kill for this uh shadow shaman oh no but he's getting chased out by the clockwork Burn. that's actually not gonna be enough he's actually gonna live you yeah, know he's alive <laughs> on 10 hp but he's alive oh rocket thinking of going for the flares let's see is he gonna be able to get the snipe no way oh a little short there.
really nicely done there by the Shadow Shaman. That was like uh, a wonderful solo kill. Like, you know, I don't know what level he was before that solo kill, but now the boy's at level 8, so. It's a good bit of EXP. Hookshot a little bit off the mark there, not quite hitting onto the Spirit Breaker. And now this Air Spirit is just gonna roll on away. See, three heroes down here. It's time to dip on out. Oh, but the axe, the Spirit Breaker. I mean, this Air Spirit is not getting away, but the combo not quite there. It does pop the Magnetize. And unfortunately, it does end up going down. The Rolling Ball there was still on cooldown there. Oh, they're starting to go into this Tinker. And now a charge onto the Winter Wyvern. Golden Braze. Buy him time, but there we go. There's the Rockets. There's the Bash. Nether Strike is available. There we go. It's going to use it. Secure the kill. Honestly, I'm really impressed. <laughs> <Your> spirit, <laughs> like your life. You didn't hear him with the voice lines. Classic. Clockwork is camping here in the mid. Maybe thinking. Yep, they are going to make a go onto this Kunka Kunka. Pop into the boat. Thorin does hit on through Shackles, connecting through onto the Kunka, holding him into place, but unfortunately, where's the damage? This uh, Earth Spirit has magnetized on cooldown and already used all his spells, and yeah, this Clockwork and Kunka are gonna be able to dip on out. So a little bit unfortunate, no damage to it was quite in the vicinity, otherwise that would have been a really nice kill onto the Kunka. Kunka, quite a high level. So definitely would have been a nice bounty to claim there. See how this draw render doing. Well, I guess now that we're chilling. Oh, as I say, now that we're chilling, we're not really chilling. So look at what happened here. Rockets flying on through in the blink laser to this. <laughs> oh my god! This juggernaut. Not even able to get his blade free way off and just ends up getting melted by the Tinker. So that's a lovely pickoff going off there. Ooh, hook shot onto the Earth Spirit, but the Tinker is here to provide the backup clock when he needs to start backing away. Laser rocket. Ooh, that cold embrace giving him a heal, but with the rearm, gonna be able to go for an round two and secure the kill until the clockwork now. Maybe? They can get vision onto this Winter Wyvern. Oh, but the Tinker doesn't quite have the mana. It doesn't really matter. Earth Spirit is gonna be there to secure the kill. And down at bottom, action happening as well. Spirit Breaker gonna secure the kill onto this Rubik. X with the boat. Well, those. Woo! Almost able to get away with a bit of Blade Fury. Gonna get chased down. Almost actually, almost actually makes it away from that. That bulldoze movement speed ain't no joke. Go forward. So you wanted to go for the skill onto the Kunka. Nice little grip there, silencing the Kunka, so he's not able to get the torrent off. Tinker on the back line, starting to spam out those rockets, pushbacks from the cogs, kickback. Well, unfortunately, they did get the X onto him. Do they have any follow up? It's like they don't, so this air spirit will be a okay. Let's see. Going for the Manta, going for the Dragon Lands. Midas complete. Not sure how long ago he completed the Midas, but probably not too long ago. Oh, looking forward. Rockets. He got to the Rubik. I'm surprised the Rubik actually didn't try to go for the spell sealer there, but um, yeah. Oh, now that we're kind of chilling. Oh, no, wrong one. There we go. Are we kind of chilling? I think we are. Kind of. Gives you an uh, opportunity to look at some of these items. See, so going for the Sange. I wonder what the Kunka is actually going for with the Sange. Or if he's gonna turn it into a uh, Kevin Salberg. Yep, he is. Nice. Good item. Especially against the Drow Ranger, you know, that 5 second disarm. Very handy. A lot of heroes here in the mid. Roll forward. Trying to go for this Winter Wyvern with the Magnetize. Serpent Wars, but the boat's able to secure the kill there. Shackles onto the Kunka, but he's got the Cocos Rum, so it's a little bit hard. But once that Cocos Rum does come to an end, you will be in a little bit of trouble. They use the, ha, they use the Winter's Curse to try to bail out this Kunka, but unfortunately not quite enough. 
Oh, nice stolen kick back. Gonna push the Spirit Breaker back. Make sure he doesn't chase for more. Strauer Ranger stepping up the high ground. Starts to right click away at this Ruby. Gonna be able to secure the kill. And now the charge onto the Winter Wyvern. Multi shot. Able to secure the kill. Oh, Clockwork was able to find the Tinker. So I think he's actually gonna be able to secure this kill. That's a pretty big kill. Going the way of the Clockwork right there. It will cost him his life. No way. He's gonna kill the Drought Ranger as well. He does. Ah, dude. That urn. Or is it a vessel now? I think. No. <laughs> Bruh. 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 <laughs> Bruh. Dude. That. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that. Um, that moment right there is a prime example of why he just got the, the blade mail. Dude. <laughs> dude, I'm like, okay, you know, he kills the. Okay, hold that thought. X, Torrent, both hang on to the air spirit. Is he gonna be able to make it on out? Nope, there's a stolen roll there from the Rubik, able to secure the kill. But dude, like, I'm like, okay, you know, this clock where we get the kill onto the tanker, cool. Wait, what? He's getting the kill onto the drow? Okay, sure. Wait, he's killing the Shadow Shaman as well. Oh man, that was funny. Ooh, Omni Slash, connecting through onto the Drow Ranger. So for Ooh, my god, jumping onto the creep there with the Blade Fury, able to secure the kill there. Ooh, man. That's very unfortunate there for the Drow Ranger. Ate almost the entire Omni Slash. That was very fortunate for the Drow Ranger that actually jumped onto the creep there. One of the slashes there, but unfortunately wasn't quite able to juke away. Doesn't quite have the movement speed, and this Juggernaut able to secure the kill there with that Blade Fury. Yeah, this Drow Ranger needs, uh, I don't know, needs a Manta or a Horse Staff, something, uh, so that he just doesn't get gone on. And just dies. Charge to the Rubik, but the telekinesis throws him back up into the air. Oh, that's a fresh orchid right there. X. Separate wards. Getting the trap on. I think he actually canceled the charge, so he actually wouldn't push him outside of the serpent wards. Winter's Curse. Does he actually have enough damage? Not quite. And this Tinker just cleaning up house. First goes for the Rubik, and then. Focuses his attention to the Winter Wyvern. And all the meanwhile, this Spirit Breaker just ends up surviving. Wow. Now working on the Agonim Scepter. So this uh, this Juggernaut, even though he uses his Blade Fury, won't be safe from the charge. I really like this item from the clock. Um, going for the pipe. A lot of magic coming through from the side of the dire, and it'll be nice uh, to mitigate some of that damage coming on through. A lot of heroes in the mid here again. Uh, roll from the air spirit. Needs to be a little bit careful. Going for the D war, but just immediately gets X up. Torrent. Is there a boat? Boat still cooldown for another 8 seconds. Rockets flying on through another roll, but ah, the Kunkka cancels that up, and the Air Spirit is gonna end up losing his life. Cold Embrace. I'm not sure that was a great Cold Embrace onto this Kunkka. It's actually griefing him kind of bit, holding him into place. Again, with the shackles, and this Spirit Breaker just caused so much havoc, and actually secured the kill onto the Kunkka on the sidelines, dude. This fight is so split out. <laughs> Tinker, a little bit unfortunate, didn't really know what was up the higher ground, and there was a Juggernaut with Omni Slash at the ready, dumps it onto the Tinker, secures the kill, so actually that fight, not too bad for the, oh, hold that dot, hookshot, going onto the Jar Ranger, Blade Fury, unfortunately not quite hitting on through, now we go, steps up to the side, and the Cox pushback will be to secure the kill there, so in the end, quite a favorable fight here for the side of the Radiant, dude, it, like, you know, it started off so good, they they got the kill onto the Winter Wyvern, and they also got the kill onto the Kunkka for free. I think they, oh no, never mind, not for free. They lost the Earth Spirit, but then the Tinker ends up losing his life and no longer a favorable with trade. Oh. Shackles onto the Juggernaut, almost ends up bringing him down, but this Clockwork in again onto the Shadow Shaman. Gonna be able to secure the kill there and bailing his buddy out of trouble. Even saying thanks on the old chat. Another X. Nice little grip. Not quite able to get the combo off in time. Spirit Breaker getting the charge off onto the Winter Wyvern, securing the kill there. Clockwork with the hook shot. Unfortunately, not able to get the kill onto the Tinker. Needs to start backing away. Boat. Kunkka surrounded. Does have the Cocos Brum on him, but unfortunately, not quite able to armor toggle his way through now. Earth Spirit rolling forward. Cake hitting onto the Clockwork. 
Oh, the Nether Strike onto the Rubik. Trying to go for the easy kill. I'm going to be able to finish it off. Oh my god, on Infinity Tier 2 Tower. Ah, dude, the charge gets cancelled out by a Telekinesis there. Oh my god, this Rubik is actually still alive. Spearbreaker should be able to charge away in just a few seconds. Gets the bounty room for his troubles. Clockwork doesn't have a whole lot of mana. Honestly, this Spearbreaker could just turn around and go onto this Clockwork, but... Will not choose to do so. Uh, bottom, Juggernaut gets caught out, already uses Blade Fury. Still on cooldown for 10 seconds, got it up. And it's up going down. Dude, what is happening? <laughs> Dude, what is happening? <laughs> very crazy fights, very crazy fights, very split out all throughout. Dude, there's like so like so much chaos happening, you know. You have like Spirit Breaker jumping onto the back lines, you know, causing chaos, and then you also get clockwork jumping onto the back lines, causing a lot whole lot more chaos. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's a wild game. It's a wild game. Now that we're sort of chilling, I can sort of look at some of these items. Let's see. She was on the Tinker. I think it'll be nice for the Tinker to get an E Blade. Oh, hook shot. Bear Breaker trying to go into this Kunka. But the couple was there with the backup. But the rest of this team are showing up. Boat onto this clockwork to give him the Coco's Rum buff. But this Kunka, sense of getting focused out. Shackle holding the clockwork and they're able to secure those two kills. Dude, like, the response time is actually so quick from the side of the dire. Like, you know, this Tinker with the BOTs, able to, I mean, not really BOTs, it's the King Conveyance, but you know, built in BOTs. Uh, just able to TP in anywhere throughout Air Spirit with the rotation. Like, dude, like, you know, uh, at first it was the Spirit Breaker going on to. Um, the Kunkta that was by his lungs himself, and Clockwork comes in, helps out his body, but the, do the dire so fast with the with the reactions there, and able to bring the numbers and take that small skirmish. Uh oh, Juggernaut getting charged away. Now the Nether Strike, Cold Embrace, gonna buy him a little bit more time. Nice Winter's Curse, hitting onto the Tinker might actually be enough. No bashes, so not quite enough. And now Spearbreaker just turns around, charges onto the Winter Wyvern, Omni Slash, goes on through, hits onto a lot of Greaves, quite of those hits. Oh, not quite able to finish off this Spirit Breaker, the Hex. Ooh, the Orchid Burn, actually securing the kill there. Now the Torrent, hitting onto the supports, and able to turn it around. Oh, really nicely done there. That was a beautiful Winter's Curse hitting onto the Tinker. They didn't actually quite secure the kill onto the Tinker, but that was like the reset they needed in order to pull themselves together and focus on those targets. Able to bring down both supports and the offlaner. Tinker did end up surviving, so that's uh, that's the one you know one thing that the Dire had going. They also ended up taking the tower, but I think if you're the side of the Radiant, you're gonna be quite happy about that fight. That's a big, that's a good bit of gold in the XP going the Radiance way. Jarring off, working on the Aghanim Scepter now. Tinker doing the best he can to try to all oh, defend, but this clockwork has his number. Tinker in a whole lot of trouble. And so pretty, oh, gets four staff out. Oh my god, this Drought Ranger saving this Tinker's life. Oh, but no, the Tinker getting okay, next up. Oh, the misclick actually going onto the Drought Ranger. The Drought Ranger might be able to survive the charge. Hitting onto two, pulling him back. And now the Shackle focus on the Juggernaut. Oh, Winter's Curse, but unfortunately not quite able to get the man shackling him. And they just end up killing him after the curse. Fuck work, Winter's Curse. I mean, Cold Embrace, Winter Wyvern is so going down through these fights. Clockwork ends up going down, and now they're gonna start chasing down these targets. Ooh, the stolen charge, but this Tinker not letting this Rubik go. Gonna be able to secure the kill and sap him down with this laser. Dude, man, what, dude, these fights are actually so chaotic. Uh, it's actually pretty crazy. Like, um, the Tinker actually needs to buy Drow some lunch or something. I don't know. But this Drow coming in clutch with the Hurricane Pike, pushing the Tinker outside of the cogs and also a little a bit of a misplay from this kunka actually xing the drow ranger instead of the tinker i think that might have been a misclick definitely i mean I, I definitely think he probably wanted to x the tinker but ended up xing the drow ranger they go into the drow ranger because she's xed up but you know she's full hp it's a little bit hard bringing her down they don't end up bringing her down then they uh 
they shackle up the juggernaut which was you know in the front lines uh, gets shackled up focuses down uh, and you know this winter wyvern tries to pop the creator's curse to cancel that out and bail his juggernaut out of trouble but unfortunately the curse only hits onto the spirit breaker and not this shadow shaman which was casted the shackles outside of the winter's curse range Winter's Curse comes to an end, the Shackle was still going, and the Spirit Breaker was able to secure the kill there, and then the rest is history. Man, us, whew. Dude, some crazy fights, very crazy fights. Took shot a little bit over the mark, not quite able to catch out the Tinker, and this Tinker's on gone. Nope. X hits him on through, and with the Cogs, gonna be able to hold him. <laughs> Dude, three heroes inside of the Cogs, that was, uh, yeah, that was funny. So nice, this Tinker gets punished for his overaggression here. Yeah, some scribbling going on into the map. I just split push these side lanes. Maybe try to force some, dude. Boom, creep wave gone. <laughs> Maybe try to force some of these um, heroes back. But they're radiant, yeah, they're gonna go into the rush pit. Definitely a fine objective to be able to get right now, now that the sinker is gone. Well, it looks like the Dire, they're aware of this. They were charging onto the Skunka. Is this Bird Breaker gonna commit for this charge? No, cancels it up. Honestly, it could have been a good charge, but I guess they don't want to fight 4v5. They do find the Clockwork. The roll does hit on through with a kickback. That was the Blade Mail, but unfortunately, with so many sources of damage, you can only really, you know, survive so long. Shackle, they're gonna be able to secure the kill onto the Rubik boat, hitting onto the Earth Spirit. They're gonna be able to secure that kill there. Aegis on the deck. Juggernaut gonna be able to clean that up. Serpent Wards trapping up the Kunka, gonna be able to clear a way through those. Hex, onto the Juggernaut. Juggernaut wants to go back in but gets shackled up. Winter's Curse. Canceling up that shackle there. Oh my god, the Shadow Shaman actually living. Chogrenaut just gets focused down. I didn't, didn't actually quite see how this uh, Winter Wyvern ended up going down, but it says Shadow Shaman was responsible for his death, so. But man, dude, <laughs> these fights, these fights are so wild, dude. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Radiance structures. Again, like, dude, there's no, like, every single time this Chogrenaut just gets shackled up or Hex, you just. There's like nothing to cancel them unless it's like a winter's curse and not really like the winter's curse is not really getting used up the way you know you want to be using it a little bit unfortunate that the it's a little bit unfortunate that the radiant decided to step back up um you know like they lost like two heroes before the roche ended up going down and then once roche ended up going down the juggernaut kind of stepped right back in because he's like you know i have aegis time to fight but it wasn't really the time to fight the team wasn't quite ready in the charge I don't really want to commit for the Skunka. They don't really have the vision. They don't know where the rest of the Radiant Squad is, so they don't really want to commit. But Radiant Squad, what? His teammates were a little bit far. Starting to come over now, regroup with the Skunka. Hmm. BKBs, nice for the Spray Breaker, but. Um, I mean, I guess, yeah, it's nice. Like, um. Uh, just being able to pop the BKB so you don't have to worry about the bow, the axe, uh, blade fury, or even this um, battery assault, which can be quite pesky. So, yeah, I understand. Even though, like, your shard is basically like a BKB, but you know, BKB is BKB. Charge onto the juggernaut with the help of the tinker. Should be able to secure this kill easily, but only slash. Now, the switch slash. Now, with the blade fury. Juggernaut does end up surviving for quite a bit. Hookshot, who immediate hex, and the shackle onto the Juggernaut. Gonna be able to secure the kill there. Spirit Breaker popping the BKB, trying to run away. Oh, nice blink away from the Tinker. Able to make it out just in the nick of time. Winter Wyvern getting focused up. Gonna use a cold embrace onto himself. Boat hitting onto the Draw Ranger. Draw Ranger drops up pretty low. Pops the Manta and just dips on out. Nice shackles though, holding the back. The Clockwork. It's time to man fight this Skunka. Man. Able to secure the kill there. Rubik soon to follow. Bro, what a fight. Dude, this Jar Ranger ended up dropping so low. I don't know how they actually didn't finish off the kill here. Um, Clockwork did start to get focused up. 
But then, like, you know, the Kunka, you start, fo like, you know, just focusing down the Jar Ranger, almost pro or down. Then the Jar Ranger pops the Manta and then decides, like, oh, no, I'm not going to click on the Jar Ranger anymore. Switch this on to the Earth Spirit. Actually, almost gets the kill onto the Earth Spirit, but... All the meanwhile, the, while the Earth Spirit's tanking, this Jar Ranger is just hitting away, pumping out that damage. And, man, what a disastrous fight here for the side of the Radiant, dude. <sighs> How quickly the tide turn. I'm actually, like, I actually want to look at the um, network graph for this game, because, like, dude, it's been so, like, back and forth up to this point. This has been definitely, like, the biggest lead. Um, but overall, this game has been pretty back and forth. I don't know, I feel like the Radiant, they keep taking some awkward, like, some really awkward fights, which they're not really, like, set up well for, uh, and they just end up coming so late for these fights, and, you know, they're not set up properly, uh, yeah, they feel really awkward, for sure, but now that they're being forced to defend their high ground, they should be able, to, they should be having an easier time, you know, setting up some nice fights, so we'll see what they're able to do. Well, gives me some time now that we're both teams are chilling to look at some of these items. Mm. Oh, X, boat, going to the Dry Ranger, but the Dry Ranger is going to force staff away. Charge, hitting onto the Kunkka now with another strike, hitting onto the Winter Wyvern. Winter Wyvern is just going to end up going down. Kunkka dropping pretty low. Does have the Cocos run, but fortunately not quite enough with the Dry Ranger right on top of him. But Juggernaut will be able to get the kill onto the Shadow Shaman there. But man, this Fairy Breaker just charging in everywhere. So it kills the kill onto the Rubik, and now probably will charge the Clockwork. Nope, Air Spirit's the one on the case. So Flash with the laser able to secure the kill there. Now Tinker, and a little bit deep, but should be A-OK. -okay. There's really like no... Lockdown for this Juggernaut, and yeah, yeah, once that Blade Fury comes to an end, Tinker is just gonna be able to use that magic damage. Ooh, nice blink away. Another charge. <laughs> Honestly, this Juggernaut. Oh my god. Oh, this Tinker wants one more. He wants this Juggernaut kill, and he's gonna get it. Man. Uh, poor Juggernaut. <laughs> poor Juggernaut. I... I don't know where he actually thought the Spirit Breaker was. Like, you know, he went Invis and then disappears. And he has no way of getting over the cliff. Oh, does have the Spooter Legs. So, but he should have seen, like, you know, he activated Shadow Blade. If he uses the Spider Legs, uh, you know, Shadow Blade deactivates. And he should be able to see him going down the low ground. But, yeah. Like, I nicely baited that. there by the Spirit Breaker, that was a beautiful bait, you know, just dangling about, like, hey, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, just buy enough time for this Tinker to TP back onto base, get some mana, and then uh, just come right back into the fight and secure the kill onto the Juggernaut. Fortunately, Roshan wasn't quite, uh, quite back up uh, by the time all of this uh, erupted, that would have been a really nice objective to be able to take, and yeah, Spirit Breaker even checking it, a little bit unfortunate. Uh, Roshan might be spawning in 115, so we'll just have to wait and see. Smoke, actually, on the side of the dire. Still wanting to put some pressure down. You might see the Rubik here. I'm sure this ward actually caught him out. No, it didn't, so this Rubik will be A-OK, -okay, but... So Spirit Breaker wants to go for the numbers. Starts charging onto this Kunkka. Ooh, hope shot off the mark there. KB gets popped, Earth Spirit going onto this Winter Wyvern on the back side of things, Tinker just spamming out those rockets. Shackle onto the Kunkka, Kunkka is gonna end up going down, so this clockwork, yeah. There's like, it's just so easy for like, uh, the Dire to be executing fights. Another charge, actually wanted to go for this Juggernaut, but changes targets instead. Actually, I don't think it was a Juggernaut. I think it was just a creep wave popping the dust. Swift slash, but it's just tickling this Juggernaut. It, like, this Juggernaut's just tickling. Like, he actually has no damage. Like, you know, as Manta, Maelstorm, Aghanims, like, uh, those are not really, like, uh, damage items. Go forward from the Earth Spirit, trying to find something. I'm quite able to. Uh, the rest of the die is just gonna start seeing up this high ground. Uh, the, uh, the rest of the, the dire squad are not back alive. Blink forward aggressively. 
rearm and securing the kill that with that laser. Gonna TP on back, get some mana. Spirit Breaker should be joining the fight pretty soon and trying to get this creeper down on bottom. Candy Outpost player. Driver, you're gonna start backing away now that this Falkirk is back alive. Showing some respect. Honestly, I really Time to spam out those rockets. Roll forward from the Earth Spirit. Gets x up. Grip and the Magnetize onto the Kunkka. Kunkka popping the BKB. On the other side of things, Juggernaut with the Omni Slash. Getting a good bit of bounces off, but unfortunately, it will not be enough to secure the kill until the Tinker will end up going down. Earth Spirit does end up going down. Hookshot hitting onto the Drow Ranger. Drow Ranger might be in a little bit of trouble. Pops the BKB. Another strike on the back side of things, hitting onto the Winter Wyvern with the Sinker, able to secure the kill onto the Skunkab. Skunkab went by on back, so this is the Juggernaut. Sinker, a little bit deep, but man, that two man charge, bailing the Tinker out of trouble now, popping the BKB, Shackle onto the Clockwork. Gust, Tinker doesn't have a lot of mana, man, does need to be careful that laser not quite enough to secure the kill onto the Clockwork. Dude, everyone from the Dire solo. And he's gonna dip on out. Nice. Like you know, they get uh, they get the racks, they get two buybacks, and <laughs> they only lose the earth spirit. So, pretty good day to be the to be the dire, if you ask me. Man, this tank, dude. I don't, I don't even know how you catch this tinker, bro. Yeah, okay, this tinker, like, uh, what? I was saying, I don't know how you catch this tinker, but apparently this is how hook shot. I'm just gonna break away at the cogs. Did he not get the two hits to kill power cogs? No, he got the battery's whole damage. Tinker with the bloodstone regen. No way he's making it out. Woo. My goodness gracious lord in heaven. I thought he was. <laughs> but he does end up going down in the end. Even Kunka towards the end of there ended up casting the axe. So. Uh, dude, I'm really surprised this clockwork actually did not get the plus two power uh two hits to kill power cogs. I guess just really wanted to go for the damage on their battery assault, but I don't know when when Cox is such a you know crucial part of your combo or setup, like I think definitely think taking a point into it is quite worth it. Especially against this Tinker, you know, this Tinker just you know clicks the cog and just like alright I'm out. But if it was two two hits plus two hits to cog hit the cogs to kill the cogs. Apologies. Uh, it would be a little bit of a different story, so yeah. Drought, uh, clean up the Aegis here. Uh, who got the shard? I think it was the Drow. Charge onto the Rubik. Man, poor Rubik, just trying to go for the warning mission. Actually, he's still alive. Spider legs and the Gust. Winter's Curse. Ah, man. No? Boat? Not quite getting the timing there, so not a lot of damage was going through. Spirit Break, Air Spirit, and up surviving. And the strike. Onto the Rubik just to secure the kill. Dust gets popped up. Omni Slash. Oh, you're able to kill, secure the kill. Onto the Spirit Breaker. Kunka is down for the count for 100 seconds. Man. Was that Splinter Blast? Was that literally just a Splinter Blast to secure the kill there? Yep, it was. Oh, just a random Splinter Blast securing the kill there. <laughs> a little bit unfortunate there for the Spirit Breaker. I'm Spirit Breaker. Air Spirit. I uh, might want to be a little bit careful, like, uh, you know, sure you have the Aegis, and Tinker's alive as well, but you cannot count the Radiant out just yet. You know, this Winter Wyvern is like, ah, unfortunately this Winter like hasn't been able to get like a good uh, Winter's Curse off just yet. Like, you know, not, not something big like the one that was up here at top when he managed to catch out the Tinker. Um, I don't know. I don't know what he needs. I don't know if he needs to step a little bit more back or if he needs to get different items so he can initiate a little bit better. Hex onto the clockwork and the shackle, but this Drow Ranger is just getting gone on and that's gonna be the Aegis down. It will cost the clockwork his life. Winter's like, man, very unfortunate Winter's Curse there. 
and this Rubik's just gonna end up going down. Tinker's just gonna start to clean up house. Like I, yeah, gonna pop the BKB, but ah, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That uh, Winter Wyvern is a little questionable. And I think this, this actually is just GG. Like, uh, yeah, they're just gonna be able to get Megas here. Honestly, they could just go straight for tier fours, but yeah, this is gonna be Megas. Like. I don't know, very unfortunate, very anticlimactic. I definitely expected to be I definitely expected a better high ground defense, but I don't know. It's it's weird. Like uh, yeah, this winter wyvern has been getting some garbage Winter's curses off. Uh, dude yeah, actually like dude this you know Winter's Curse has a lot of potential to do a lot of work. Like, you know, it's a great setup for team fights. Uh, but unfortunately wasn't quite able to, you know, put it to good use. Kunka, I get focused down. <laughs> they didn't even, they both didn't even get there before and so going to the afterlife and yeah that's gonna be gg damn what a game that was very unfortunate very anticlimactic but dude like just taking fights for the dire is so much easier than it is for the radiant like uh oh yeah spirit breaker charging in from like halfway across the map tinker just like uh king conveyance in to either a creep or a hero that he wants to be there and that's already plus two heroes on the scene uh and you know, uh, Air Spirit has some great mobility. The only real slow heroes were um, this Drow Ranger and Shadow Shaman, but they really matter when you can have three heroes in the scene almost immediately. Mm, let's see. Mm, nope, wrong one. There we go. Yeah, it was like, it was very back and forth. Like, you know, like, uh, Radiant took a little bit of a lead coming outside of the laning phase, then it went back to the way of the Dire, then going back the way of the Radiant, but then after a while it just started to <laughs> drop on down. <laughs> Let's see. Dude, yeah, like, <laughs> I'm like, dude, how much damage did this Clockwork dealt? Like, yeah, this man dealt a lot of damage. Like, a lot of damage. This is a lot of damage. Um... Especially for this clockwork, I really feel bad for this clockwork because he really did try this, try his heart out. Uh, he had some really good plays, like some really good hook shots. Uh, you know, isolating the tinker, or not just the tinker, but also the dry ranger and stuff like that. Kunka didn't play so bad, played pretty well. Uh, but man, this winter wyvern just so underwhelming, like literally so underwhelming. I, I just like uh, the curses, like. It was like maybe one good curse, two good curses, and like even his uh, scale build uh, during the laning phase was like super questionable. Like you know, only one point into the Arctic burn, two into the um, two into the Splendid blast, and then three into the cold embrace. Like I don't know, it felt it felt really weird. Uh, I'm not sure how much this guy plays uh, Winter Wyvern mid, but uh, but yeah, that was very very unfortunate overall but damn really really well done uh, and yeah dude mvp for sure uh dude, this spirit breaker was literally everywhere man literally everywhere uh but dude yeah really cool game like even though it wasn't like a crazy ass comeback uh but it was still like you know like coming out of the laning phase it's still like you know not not too good, you know. The Drow Ranger didn't wasn't doing so well outside of the laning phase, but man, this Tinker, uh, basically these three heroes were able to do so much work throughout the map. And then you know once uh, once they started to even out things, and the Shadow Shaman and Drow Ranger got a few more levels and a little bit more EXP, and they could join in the fights, then it completely turned around. Also that uh, that solo pick off that the Shadow Shaman got onto the um, onto the Kunka I was like big like really big i think this kunka was like level 11 level 10 or something like that and the shao shan was probably like level six or something like that and they just jumped up to level eight and a half after that and yeah just very cool game very cool game thank you for sending it in but anyways that's gonna be it for me guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to support the channel any way you can with us liking the video subscribing sharing it with your friends whatever it is your grandma your girlfriend unborn child it doesn't really matter a views of you However, if you're not bothered, the mere fact you watch this video is good enough for me. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day. Peace out.